Okay, I am trying something new for me. In my head, this works, but if it's going to work in reality, who the hell knows. Um, but I cut this shape, this funky shape that I came up with on this leopard print vinyl I have. Leopard, cheetah, whatever it is. And I'm going to try and get the center started, not the edges, without ripping the vinyl. That edge is back. This edge is back. And I'm going to try to get this lined up on the bottom of the cup. And I think I cut this wide enough to cover the whole cup. There's a lot of I thinks here. And I have yet another can of white spray paint that is bumpy. So that's wonderful. Perfect. All right. So that is actually going to work. Yay. There. So that is what I wanted for that part. Now I am going to take my blue painter's tape and leave a gap. I want this to run right along that edge. This can just, um, it can sit on the bottom for now. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Because that first piece of vinyl sets the tone for the whole shape of the cup. Hopefully this doesn't lift too much of my paint, but... If it does, it does. Okay. So, I'm going to straight up from my seam is where I want my point. So that's going to be right here. So that's actually pretty good. I'm going to peel this off even. I'm 
and then just that little bit on this one. Okay, so I am going to grab some glitters and some Mod Podge. I hate to admit that I'm going to use Mod Podge, but I will be all right back in a Okay, so I have my Mod Podge grabbed. If I can get it open. This is just the gloss Mod Podge. I really hate Mod Podge, in case you didn't know. I'm going to pour some in a little medicine cup because this is going to get contaminated most likely. Well, it's definitely going to get contaminated, but to what extent it gets contaminated is the question. So, that should be plenty for this color. I have a little... I'm going to use Under the Sea Holographic for the big white spots on the top. I think it kind of pulls off the bottom color there in the yellow. So I'm going to tint my Mod Podge with just a little bit of my paint. Just so it's not a totally white, white base. So I'm going to have a little minty colored Mod Podge. Uh, this is one of my C paints. It is called Mermaid Mist, if anybody wondered. The color line has changed, though, so I don't know if they still have that. But I'm going to give it just a tiny bit more. All right. Put the lid back on my paint. And mix it up again. I don't know if I've used this color before, so I'm going to see if it's open. And it is not. How gorgeous that is. So, I'm going to get rid of my cup cradle and grab a piece of paper. Ah, I'm supposed to be finishing like five other cups, but here I am starting another new cup. This is what happens. I'm just going to use a foam brush to apply this this time. Um, but I'm just going to paint the Mod Podge on. Get a good thick layer all over. If it bleeds a little or the lines aren't perfect, I'm not going to be terribly concerned because I am going to, um, and I don't know why I mixed up so much. I guess if I need to do a second coat, I'll be all set. Um, but I'm going to go over those lines with probably some black vinyl at some point here. So... I actually had started like another all vinyl type version of this cup and just totally squirreled and decided I wanted to use this vinyl. So and I didn't have other vinyls to mix with this one. So the other one just kind of got bumped. I even took its base painted cup away. So that is coated. I'm going to set this to the side, open up my shaker. My table is still a little bit wet. I was doing water slides. So I'm going to grab a fresh piece of paper. There we go. And I'm going to lay my glitter on. I'm really, really hoping for one coat coverage. I don't like Mod Podge to begin with, and I really, really dislike multiple layers of Mod Podge. 
So, here's hoping, but so far looks pretty good, so maybe, 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 maybe. Um, once the Mod Podge is dry, before I do my next color, I am going to go ahead and spray coat, clear coat, whatever. Another thing I hate doing, but when you Mod Podge, it really is necessary. So, I'm going to pull my tape in a minute. And then let this dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull my tape now. Because it's not going to hurt anything to pull it now. I don't want the Mod Podge drying to the tape because then I'd have to score it. Um, it's got a little bit of bleed. That's not a problem because it's going to be gone over with another dark color. And I'm probably going to do the bottom in the pink as well. So I'm going to set this to the side, let it dry, go in clear coat, clear coat, clear coat, and then come back in and do this line then I'll get some resin on it. So, I'll be back. Okay, so my blue glitter is spray sealed in. I am ready to Mod Podge the rest. So, I'm gonna get my mix together. <clears throat> For this hot pink. Definitely don't need to mix as much as last time. And I didn't have time to dig around and look for a hot, hot pink paint. So I'm just going to use this pink that I do have handy. So I'm just going to go with it. It'll still give it a base to sit on. And I'm going to use a finer brush this time so I have more control. I have not used this glitter either, so I'm sure it's not opened. And now it is. So, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to carefully... Try not to overlap my blue too, too much. And again, this is going to get pinstripes. So, whoops. And I did not wipe my blue off before I spray sealed, so I'm going to have to scrub some of that off. My own fault. I know better. I sprayed sealed that right down. But I'm just getting this layer of paint and Mod Podge right in here to the corner. And I just put my finger in it. So I'm going to wipe that off so I don't spread it to other points on the cup. <clears throat> yeah, pay attention to how hard I'm pushing on this brush. I mean, if I push down the right, the right resistance, I can actually do pretty much the whole thing in one swipe. I 
I was thinking about black pinstripes, but I may actually go with purple if I have a purple that would look good. But I am a couple steps away from having to worry about that yet. Okay. And I'm also going to do the bottom in the pink. So I'm going to get the whole bottom coated quick and then get around that rim. And I will have to decide if I'm going to pinstripe around that bottom edge as well. I think in this case I probably will. just so that becomes mostly seamless. Sorry. I'll get a little bit more on. Whoops. Getting carried away. All right, so that's on there. Look at that brush rinsed out in a minute. Let me go ahead and get my glitter on. Holy wow, is she ever pink. That is a great match to this hot pink in the middle here, which is basically what I was going for. This glitter is almost a little too chunky for the shaker. This one is hotter than you pink. I don't know if I said that before. Trying to tap off the excess. And I'm going to switch to the bigger pour for the bottom because I don't have the patience for that. I will get this excess pink brushed off before I seal it this time. Make sure I have full coverage. And I'm missing a little spot here.
there that'll work so I'm gonna get my brush cleaned up I'm gonna get this brushed off I'm gonna let this dry and spray seal it again and then come back in and get the first coat of rosin on it <clears throat> and figure out what I'm gonna do for a decal here I'm thinking about just cutting this vinyl with the word mom and um, just matting it on black and calling it good because I don't want it to be anything too overwhelming because this already has a lot going on so I'll be back okay I am ready to get resin on this one um, I'm gonna give it just a tiny tiny bit of the girl's best friend diamond dust just so this part has a little sparkle it won't alter the rest of it so all right get that mixed in and I'm gonna put a pretty good coat on this just to make that sparkling and beautiful like every other bit of this cup. And my glitter seems to be holding, so that's good. I did clear coat it pretty heavily and I did try to brush off the rest of the pink. bottom good. And that bottom rim I want to get really good because that's where I'm going to put a pinstripe. And this may need one more clear coat before I'm ready for any kind of decal or pinstriping so I will um, make sure that is done before I come back in. But that'll just be a regular coat. But you can see how that diamond dust isn't affecting this color or this color in the slightest. It's just giving that um, leopard, cheetah, whatever, animal print, a sparkle. So. I will be back when it is ready for decal and pinstripes. Okay, this is ready for a decal. It's just getting a very simple mom decal. Very, very simple. I cut it from a piece of that same vinyl. Um, let me scooch this down where I can see it a little bit better. Just keeping it simple this time. So that is it. It's just going to need a coat of epoxy and then it will be ready to go. So. Then I'm going to show you the final step of epoxy on this one. Um, it's just super pretty. I do not know why I have been avoiding... Oh, I'm not done. I'll be back anyways. I don't know why I've been avoiding doing these V-splits because I absolutely love them and they're not nearly as bad as I thought. But um, I do have to get my little pinstripes on here in black. So, I guess I'm going to go cut those and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I swear I'm losing my mind today. Happens though, right? It's 
see if I can get these started. Just decided to do black on these. I think it's my best option. trim up the rest when I get to it. I may run a stripe around the bottom edge too because I don't really like that. So. Here again. Whoops. And two to go. And I am getting covered in blue glitter, which is fun since I haven't used blue glitter today. Last one. I'm just lining these ones up that way I only have to trim the other side. You can use nail tape, washi tape whatever you want to use to do your stripes. I just find regular old vinyl is easiest and quickest. Snip off the excess with your blade. It's a sharp blade. Cutting deep. Follow along your edge and cut the bottom ones. There. Now, I'm going to do the bottom quick. I'm going to start the bottom on the back side. Somewhere around where the other seam is. It's a good place for it. I just don't like the way this pink um, layered onto here. So that's why I want to just give it a little bit of a stripe. There we go. Now she's really just ready for a coat of epoxy. Alrighty, bring her up so you can see her. So like I said, I've been intimidated by these for forever. I don't know why. Um, I made this one more complicated than it had to be, but, and I definitely made the second one I did way more complicated than it needed to be. But by the third one, I was kind of into the groove, so. What is one tumbler technique that has given you a hard time? Let me know.
in the comments. Thank you.